Blessings, beloved Light Tribe. Gatekeepers, grid workers, and those in service to the new light get clear, relaxed, and ready to unify. I am sure many are sensing this upcoming acceleration on October 23rd through the 25th. It looks like a wonderful opportunity for the shift and ascension timelines. As we step into our true creator skills and operate in the highest interests of all concerned, we are capable of assisting the collective consciousness in powerful ways. The new light supports unified intentions of divine love, peace, and the shift to higher consciousness. Let us take advantage of the intel and make this as powerful as possible. The gateway trigger dates are October 23rd through the 25th. Gatekeepers, we are opening the gates on October 21st, and anchoring through the 26th, gold, diamond, and crystalline gateways. Grid workers, focus on acceleration of the shift, gold, and Christed light infusions. Light servers and light workers, unified focus on unity, consciousness, unifying human hearts of divine intent to accelerate the ascension. Here are some tips for unifying with the higher level teams and Gaia to deliver and take in as much light and amplification as possible. Get clear and purify, cleanse, vibe up as much as possible. A pure conduit equals a stronger influence of intent. No drama or anxiety. Let us make this an easy, beautiful transition like a 5D love light bath infusion. The timelines will respond appropriately. Expand yourself first, crystalline grid level or bigger if you can maintain focus. Anchor and amplify the intention with crystals in or on the ground prior to and during the gateway. Link them to all involved Link them to the crystals and human hearts involved and ask the higher teams to assist and use them. Keep it simple and without stray requests. Acceleration of the shift in the highest interest of all concerned is our focus. There are gifts available to receive with this influx of new light. More ease. It may be difficult after so many challenges to go gracefully and fully into the ease of the new light reality. Even though resistance is laughable during photonic bombardment, accepting the new light reality is key. A new level of ease may be unsettling as the old constructs attempt to fit expanded consciousness into small old boxes. We are coping with the death of coping mechanisms. Breathe. Wayshowers leveling up. Wayshowers are able to show the way because we face the unknown a little ahead of the collective. We now converge as one heart, one unified field of global consciousness, a unique expression happening within the boundaries of a unified global consciousness. We are merging in a divine sense as a divine expression of the Christed human. The solar cosmic Christ is a template provided as a bridge to where we are headed. A wise template builder once said, you will do all this and more. First, the all this, then the more. These levels of light may make for an ungrounded experience. This is a unique passage with new things to show us about ourselves. Share it with your higher levels, Gaia, and telepathically with the human grid. 
we surge the new experiences into the collective mind. Pineal and higher light upgrades. The high heart, pineal, crown, vagus nerve may be getting a workout as the new light increases since the equinox blood moon gateway. Also, there are intense amounts of light. It is extremely bright with the eyes closed. The shifts in side effects over the last month are too plentiful to list. Trust your higher self with the amplifications. Take care of the vessel as it adjusts. These symptoms are unique to your journey. Tired and wired continues. That seems to be the new normal. The lines between waking and dreaming dissipate as the veils dissolve. It is what it is. Welcome to unity consciousness. Higher self suggests enjoying some cave time in little bits to let the body reconstruct into its true reflection of the higher self. Perhaps you have noticed the pinpoints of light which begin with the eyes open and expand if you close your eyes. I have several beings breaking through the veils at my request to be more visible to me. These are 5D and above beings. They understand how I would like to communicate and are building those bridges with me. I highly recommend communicating out loud for clarity with your team as they present in your consciousness. They respond to your level of creativity. This is a co-creation, so design it as you like. It makes it easier now that we have eyes open interaction. Telepathic communication. Grounded telepathy, human to human, takes practice and I encourage playing with it. You may have noticed the nudge to connect with someone, and then when you get together, it seems as if everything has already been shared. Get used to this. Our higher levels are getting more acute in their energetic exchanges as the grid of awakened human hearts gains energetic momentum. Telepathic merges with higher states of consciousness seem to be getting clearer and easier since the last gateway. I hear it will be easier to interpret and transmit telepathic downloads, which can be vast amounts of intel, after the next cosmic trigger. I sense it is our unified mind which will strengthen its desire for love, peace, balance, unity, and purity, rather than a need for grounded information. Utilizing the cosmic trigger. While the collective consciousness cannot sabotage a wave of new light, it can be steered into using it for a positive acceleration or falling into fear. We have the rule book now, beloveds, as well as the upper hand due to the 5D vibration in our consciousness. Feel into this message and hear the higher calling for action during this wave. Much of it is telepathic. Comprehension of new light intelligence is growing. The acceleration will become more streamlined since so many are consciously connected in this way. Keep clear and focused. I feel a turning point in many of our life streams. Let us share our highest intentions and put our new skills to work to benefit the shift, the ascension, and all concerned. Thank you. Many blessings.